All right, well, I'm gonna try to explain a little bit how the internet works um, from the point of your modem. This is actually centered around the modem. I'm a machinist, I'm not really a connoisseur on words, but I'm gonna try to explain things as I learned them. I tried to put them on YouTube so everybody else can learn them as well. So your modem inside your house will usually be hooked up to a cable. And this cable will be your coaxial cable, it's round. Usually has a hexagonal point on it, or uh, outside. And you'll see that most of the time when you see these, it'll, it'll plug into the back of your TV and uh, you know for your cable. That will go on the back of your modem. And this will say this is the back of the modem. And this will be like a, a side profile of the modem. We'll just spin it like this. Have a peg sticking off of it. It'll be threaded, and it'll be up here. So you take that cable and you plug it into the back of it. Then I'll have a port down here. Kind of looks like a telephone jack, so a little spot where it clips in. And that'll that'll be inside here. It's more recessed inside your modem, where this is sticking out like a peg. So essentially, you thread that on there, and this will be your internet wire that goes over to your your router. Yeah, look at that wireless router. Like three, because we're awesome with our routers. So what's happening here is the information comes in this way, gets changed, and it goes over here. And they call it a modem because it modulates and demodulates, which is a little bit tricky. And in the US here, I don't know who's gonna see all this video, we, uh, we use coaxial cable quite a bit for our internet. So what's happening is, is you have your computer over here. We'll make a small little scenario. This guy's happy, this little keyboard. Da, 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 da. Then you got this guy right here. Another, we'll make him an unhappy one. Because not everybody's happy in his unhappy keyboard. And then in your house you have your, your router. This guy's got his modem, his modem, and his router. Yay, router. Router, okay. So your computer will probably talk to your router via Wi-Fi. This guy doesn't have Wi-Fi, that's why he's happy, so he's on a cable. And over here, this guy, he's on Wi-Fi, so he's like, yeah, I'm gonna talk to the router. The router's gonna send a message to the modem. Now your computer talks in binary. Everyone knows binaries, they're all zeros and ones, zeros and ones and whatever, switching ports on and off. So it sends the information to your modem. Your modem doesn't talk that way. It actually talks in waves, more like sound. There's a center line of that wave. So for this modem to talk to that modem, it's not gonna send zeros and ones. It's gonna use a wave, and it's actually gonna like have conflicting waves in here. So what happens is these waves talk to each other. Not talk to each other, they, they kind of run with each other. And they make that weird noise whenever you hear a tune that's slightly off from each other. It's kind of like like you know they're, they're, they're so close but they're not quite. But it uses that, that, that modulation of sound to actually create a zero and one when it demodulates it on this side and then sends it to your router. And that's how it sends the signals back and forth. So essentially, if you're talking to somebody else, and this is a small, more so unrealistic, but very realistic at the same time. So it sends zero to ones, changes it over to this, changes it back over to zeros and ones, zeros and ones, and this guy gets his message that his stuff from Amazon did not ship, and he's still very angry. So that's how the internet works, from your home, to your router, to your router, to your modem, to your modem to another modem, to a router, back to someone else. Very basic, yet somewhat complex.